Mm, this is good soup day two, pozole verde. Now, pozole verde is not a soup that I grew up with. I grew up with pozole rojo. I'm not sure of too many Mexican households that grew up with this dish. Comment down below if you did grow up with it because I didn't myself. It's quite the same process as making the pozole rojo. I used pork, I used the hominy, and the peppers are what's most important in this soup. Instead of using the red peppers for this one, of course I used, you probably guessed it, green peppers. So let's just jump right into this recipe. I'm busting out all the greens for the pozole verde. So as the pozole was red, I had all the red chilies. For the green, I have all the green chilies. So I'm gonna do Anaheim chili pepper, chile poblano, tomatillos, and all the other green stuff. I'll get into it. Something interesting to note though, I use these chilies in the pozole rojo, except they're different. When you dry an Anaheim chili, that turns into a guajillo. When you dry a poblano, it turns into an ancho. Cool little fact. So since chilies can obviously get quite spicy, I'm gonna use gloves. If you don't have any, wash your hands thoroughly. Also tomatillos, they can be quite sticky, so it's nice to use gloves for those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to peel all of my tomatillo, and then I'm gonna put them onto the sheet tray. So on the sheet tray, it's gonna have pretty much everything on it. The chiles, the tomatillos. I might even throw in some garlic, some onion, and that's gonna go into our pozole. It's gonna be really nice. Okay, all our tomatillos peeled onto the sheet tray. Now for the poblanos, I'm just gonna core them Take the stem and the seeds out, just like that. And then I'll just slice it lengthwise, throw that onto the sheet tray as well. Same thing for the Anaheim chilies. Gonna core them, take the seeds out as much as possible. If you can't get them all out, it's all good. It's all good. Toss it on the sheet tray as well. Man, I used to do so many of these at work during summertime when we get the chilies in from the farm. It would be totes and totes of this stuff. So this is definitely giving me some flashbacks right now. Also, I've never made, oh, you know what I have? It's just been years since I've made a pozole verde. I didn't grow up on pozole verde, so it's not something I'm too familiar with. Same thing with the jalapeno chiles. I'm just cutting them in half. I'm leaving the seeds in. I want that spice, tossing those in. Now, this one is optional right here. The serrano chile, spicier, obviously. Do as many as you'd like. This is gonna make it have quite the kick. So that's why I'm saying it's optional. I like my stuff spicy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put three of those onto my sheet tray. So now that I've got all my greens on there, I'm just gonna go ahead and slice up a yellow onion. Now, like I said in the last one, it doesn't matter how you cut the onion up because we're just gonna blend it. So just a good old Rough chop, equal size. On to the tray. Garlic, I buy the pre-packaged cloves, don't judge me, makes my life easier. Okay now, here's all my greenery, here it is. So check this out. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm going to toss it onto a bowl, everything. All of it onto a large bowl. And then this sheet tray, this is going into my oven. My oven's already preset to 500 degrees Fahrenheit.
Now I'm setting this bowl aside for now. And then I've got some pork butt here. It's a little fancier, it's a Berkshire pork butt, which is basically just like a nicer quality pig. It was raised nice, it's got a really good flavor. You can use beef, chicken, you can make this veggie. I like pork in my pozole, so I'm doing this. Now, what I'm gonna do here. Okay, so check it out. The pork butt has this nice fat cap. I'm not gonna waste this. I'm gonna render this fat cap, and I'm gonna use that fat for my greens. So I'm just rendering this low and slow. I'm gonna utilize that pork fat to cook all the stuff in this soup. It's gonna give it a more distinct flavor. It's gonna be a little more intense. It's just nicer than using oils, like olive oils or canola oils to toss your veggies in. This is gonna be a lot nicer. If you wanted to, you would use bacon fat as well to coat your veggies. That'd be delicious too. Okay, once sufficient fat is rendered off, now what I'll do, take that bowl, toss all that fat into that bowl, season that with some salt, And now that is what I'm gonna coat my peppers and my tomatillos in. And now to that, I'm gonna add in Mexican oregano. I got four types of peppercorn here. That's going in. And then cumin. See, did I forget anything else? I think that's good for now. So now, our sheet tray is already hot. Okay, so now our sheet tray is already hot because it's been in the oven. All I'm gonna do is toss this on. Let that go until nice and charred. Now while that's going in the oven, I'm just gonna sear off my pork, make it GBD all around. that we want to get some good color on this pork all around the more color the more defined and more depth this is gonna have pork fat can be quite messy let me clean this up real quick all that fat splatter man a lot of people ask me what this is by the way uh, this is just a control freak I use this and not the stove back there because, I mean, obviously the camera's right there. You guys can't see back there. So that's why I use this. It's induction. I like it. It's good. Good machine. <coughs> okay, anyways, my pork is already cooked off. So now I'm just gonna toss that into my pressure cooker with all that fat. If you do not have a pressure cooker, you can do this in a regular pot, cast iron pot, whatever. I'm just doing it in this because it's so much faster, so much easier. So into the pressure cooker. Then once again, I'm gonna be using the canned hominy. So you wanna take out a can and you wanna rinse it. So I'm just gonna rinse it with a strainer. That goes in. I'm gonna toss in about a quart of chicken stock. You can use pork stock, veggie stock, beef stock. You get it. Set this aside. Okay, greens are out of the oven. This is what they look like. You could go a little more char if you want. This is the charredness I got on it. See that chili? Nice and charred. Now, this is gonna go into a blender.
Now you should have reserved some of that chicken stock or veggie stock or beef stock for this purpose right here. So this is gonna go in the blender, but first look at this. I have all these yum yums on the sheet tray. I'm just gonna pour it directly on the sheet tray. Get off all those yum yums, all that flavor. And, and then just some rice wine vinegar to taste. You could also do lime juice. I almost forgot cilantro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all the stems from the cilantro. And then I'll use the leaves for garnishing at the end. So all these stems, that's got so much flavor. So tossing the stems in. And then we blend. All right, that's enough. Now I could just taste it before if I want. Tastes good. That is going in. And then there we go. There's my pozole verde, ready to be cooked. Okay. We are pressure cooking for 50 minutes. Now, if you're not familiar with this, there's all these settings on here. I'm just doing custom high 50 minutes. Like I said, if you don't have a pressure cooker, put this in a pot. Let it go for around four hours if you got a piece of pork like this covered. Okay, and we're back. It's been like 50 minutes. Let's see what's up. Ooh, beautiful. It smells so good. Oh yeah, that pork is fall are ready. So you know it's ready when this pork is just fork tender falling apart. So like a prettier serving pot. And now look at that. Let me zoom in for you guys. That looks so freaking delicious. Pozole verde. Why is this avocado so tiny? Okay, but first guys, wh which plate? Should I do this bowl or this bowl? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know, I'm kind of leaning towards this guy right here. It's kind of fancy. Let's do this one. And some sour cream. Beautiful. Pozole verde. Now we just mix that all up, all that goodness. Oh my God, this looks so good. Mmm. Delicious. Perfect for a hangover, I would say too. Yeah, good soup is back, everybody. <laughs>